Hello everyone, Marcus Wolf here, welcoming you back to another episode of Cursed 2. Would you believe it if I said, I almost said, Path of the Midnight Sun? <laughs> so, I, I finished Path of the Midnight Sun at the time of this recording, two weeks ago. So my mind is still trying to say, Path of the Midnight Sun, it's not that. Oh, and I gotta say, you probably noticed a bit. I'm using a new mic. I got a new mic because I realized the other one, for some reason, was making this weird staticky echo noise in the background. I think this is a little bit better. I haven't caught that yet, although it might be in post-production thing, but whatever. We're now at Jennifer's house. I'm, I have a hammer equipped this time. <laughs> We're gonna die. I really need to practice these battles a lot more than I have been. Um, so I was here earlier and then I got murdered. A long garden hose snakes through the grass, rusted and worthless. The valve is broken. Uh, more importantly, there's this stuff. I don't know if it's dirt or blood. You pull aside the loose bush and find a pair of hedge clippers that are rusted solid. Oh, I thank you! Rusted solid hedge clippers. How did you know I wanted that for Christmas? <sighs> I'm just gonna put that back in the truck. Uh, actually. Pair of... Oh, you literally said that. You try your best, but you cannot... Yeah, they're rusted. Rusted through. They've been in too much rain and weather and... You know... The, the <laughs> too much of the elements. Jesus. Let's put this crap back in here, because... No, I don't want to put that on. I just want to drop the damn thing. Thank you. Okay. We're going to go into the house now. Uh, never mind, we're not. We're going to see a floating red skull. Hi! Oh, God! Eek! Ow! You... Oh, you... Eek! Took half my health. Kaboosh! You're gonna hear a lot of weird noises, I guarantee it. It's a very weird design that I'm looking at here. And you die! Okay. Uh, oh. Wait, is this health? No, I didn't... No, 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 no. Okay, it's health. Good, to drop health. Thank God. That eye beam thing took a lot of health. Something tells me I shouldn't just be dawdling on each screen, I think. <laughs> I think I'm taking too long on some screen, then it's just like, eh? Or it goes by a timer system. One of the two. Either I'm taking too long on one screen, or it's a timer system. I think it might be a timer system. Otherwise, it makes no sense that you can just breeze through every screen and not get a random encounter. It, it might be a time, especially when you're pointing, clicking, searching stuff. So, it's this door. It's just open. Okay, that's fine. Uh, in we go. At less than half health. This painting is too vague for you to really make it out, even with the lights on. A ma hey, hi! A mat on the floor is your only welcome, as the inside of the house is dead silent. You try the light switch, there is no response. Great, the domed lamp in the ceiling isn't working, although it does have a bulb. Painting is too- that's a painting? That's a mirror, you idiot! Oh, whatever. Uh, let's go in here. Hmm. After feet. That works. I have a remote. What am I gonna do with a remote? A remote control for a television. It looks like it works. Small LED lights up when you press the buttons. Oh, hi! An elderly woman sits silently in a rocking chair. She does not respond to your voice. Oh, I think I got into a battle and died immediately. Great, 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 great. I appreciate this. Pro tip, do hi! Do not turn off the television when Granny is watching. 
Okay, you know what? I'm curious now. I'm actually curious. Can I... Does that remote let me turn off the television? I, I have to see now. I am actually genuinely curious. Hey, Grant. Oh. That's a random? Are you serious? Are you serious? That was, that was a random and Okay, yeah, never mind. Sorry, Granny. Sorry. I can't use the remote. I don't know what the point of the remote is. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Granny. I'll stop messing with your television. So, you get random events. That is good to know. That is actually good to know. No, let me in. Sheesh. Uh, da, da, da. Television doesn't respond. Nothing of value. Uh-huh. Nothing. Yes, I know. I'll, I'll, I'll take it with me. I don't know what it does, but... I'm not gonna mess with Granny. Hi, Granny, who's gonna appear randomly here. The moonlight shines through the kitchen, lending light to the darkened interior. Oh, okay. I actually had to hold it. Okay. Uh, we get a- Oh, hi! Uh, you're the thing that tried to attack me earlier. Oh, God. Whoo! I am- uh, He! Gonna make a lot of strange noises! Hey! Oof! Uh, what are you doing? Oh, wait! That was a total guess. It's like, there's no way I can dodge that moving left and right, I think. Ah. Oh god, just die. Eek. Eek. Oh, not again. Are you kidding me? Okay, I gotta go! Ooh, down. Can I move up? I can't move up. Okay, that's good. We're, we're slowly learning the mechanics of this game. There we go. Yeah, go away. Stop trying to beat me into a bloody pulp. Ooh, we got that. I wanted the flashlight. <laughs> That's what I saw. It's gonna be very interesting. What? What is this? It is... A rag of some kind. Yes, I know. Thank you. This... It is a soiled and smelly old rag. Stiff and crusty. You can't seem to keep it flat. This might be the dirty side of my mind, but a dirty, stiff, crusty rag. And smelly. Many things come to mind. <laughs> Many things come to mind that I will not mention. <laughs> it's a nice flashlight, but it needs two D-cell batteries to even try it. Well, we just need to find those D-cell batteries. Nothing in here, not even a fork. Oh, that's good to know. There's absolutely nothing in here. Okay, good to know. E wow, this place just got... Compass. What do I need a compass for? Really? I can... F oh. oh, I was gonna say I can fit that in there. With this compass on hand, you may have an easier time on the road or in the ma a maze. Please tell me there are no mazes in here. Oh, for the love of God. That's gonna be enjoyable. The cord of the chandelier is really frayed. Oak large table. Thank you. Okay. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Go. Oh! Oh, I just went in a circle, didn't I? Okay, okay. Good to know, good to know. Uh, boof. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go save real quick. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, right when I come back, you decide to just... Yeah. No, I meant down, you dumb bow. I got... Now I meant left. This thing always drives me up the wall. Eek. Can I hold the button? Yeah. I was not paying attention there for a moment. And you die. Oh, thank God. You were about to... I got no health. Oh, God. I got no health. The stairway leads to the upstairs bedrooms and hopefully some answers. I'm out on the floor is your only welcome. 
the door to the attic is tied shut with a large rope. Perhaps you can cut it with something. I would love to, but I don't have my kitchen shears. Kitchen shears, garden shears. <laughs> oh, God. It, why is it dark in here? The light switch does not respond whatsoever. A picture. It's a picture of a newborn baby. You assume it to be of Jennifer the day she was born. October 22nd, 1989. Well, December... Oh, December. This, this is quite clearly here. I feel like I should remember this. 10-22-89. Shouldn't be that hard, right? <laughs> it's gonna be hard. You know, I gotta wonder. Is this the person's birthday? His actual birthday? Disaster Squad's birthday? 10, October 22nd, 1989. If it is, then man, he made this game when I was in high school, when he was in high school. Damn, yeah, Jesus. I really wonder, is that his birthday? It must... It's either a random number or it really is his birthday. 10-22-89. Uh, ooh, what is this? Ooh, I got someone's credit card information. Gonna go on a shopping spree, that's not what I meant. It's some sort of key card or ID card. It has Jennifer's last name on it and a magnetic strip. Well, that's good. Did R Resident Evil anyone? The Umbrella Corporation? You can't see anything outside the blackness. Good to know. Anything in the bed? This bed is king size. It looks comfortable, but there's no way to have relaxing at this point. Oh. Okay, sure. Yeah, I just opened the damn thing. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna... Hmm. I need to be quiet. Need to pay attention. Ah! Okay. Oh. <laughs> Please give me help. I need. I want help. Oh my god. Mm hmm. Hi. Hi, sir. What the hell was that? Uh, that did not bode well. This is the light. This is where the light from outside was coming from. Your nerves tense up wondering what you may find. Oh my god! Can I leave? I can't leave. Yeah! No! Oh, thank God. Level ups give me... Oh, thank God. Level, level ups heal me. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you do not know how tense I was there. It's like, no! I was one hit from... 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 From obvious death. Oh my god. Okay, so we leveled up. We got health back. Um... So... Oh, I see now. Gems are not what you find on the field. It's what you gain from f experience. Good to know. So I can put it on various things. I can put it on strength. And it says it can be moved, so... I, I guess that means if you need more, like, say, defense at one point, just... Defend the whole way through. I don't know what mind is. I could use more health, but I think that's a moot point. I am like taking a lot of damage. Let's just defend myself. <laughs> Pray to God, people. Pray for me. I wonder, will that stay there? Oh, hi. You're clearly not creepy at all. Okay, yeah, it does stay there. Okay, that's good to know. So. Healing items will stay. It's kind of like, what, Banjo-Kazooie when you dropped it, when they dropped a health item? <laughs> the honeycombs, they just stay there. The bed is not, that's a bed? That's a bed. That looks totally messed up. Can't see, hi, D why do we keep getting shadows and why do I keep getting jump scared by them? There is this creepy doll. It's a ratty stuffed doll. You assume it talks or something because you find a slot for batteries in the back on the back of it. Why would I want it to talk? It looks creepy. I don't want it to talk and say you will die in seven days or something. 
There are clothes strewn about the floor here, as if someone emptied the closet in a hurry. Yay. Oh, hi! Oh, hi! Yes, we're just having a lot of things happening here. I can talk now because I am not in any intense fear of death. Oh, God! So, this thing is a big target. Unlike the bat, which was, like, very hard to hit because it was a very small little target. Okay, so I cannot hold down indefinitely. I will come back up at some point. That's good to know. So if you hit it too early, you're gonna get wackadoodled. Oh, for the love of God, don't do that. I wonder if I had a gun, would I have been able to shoot him from afar? It is a ranged weapon. I, I know I can't attack him with a hammer, so that, that would make sense. Come on. Oh, no, I was almost not paying attention. Oh, my. Could you please stop? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Man, you just wanted to go nutsy cuckoo. Okay, we have so many things going on here. Shotgun shells? Yes, I know. Uh, we got a scroll. I don't know what this scroll does. Uh... It says, Vite Velo- Oh, it's the healing magic. Heal your wounds with the power of your mind. Oh, was that a subtle hint that mind is magic? You know, it could be. Uh, well, I don't need to heal now, so it makes no difference. M makes no sense. Okay, good to know. Uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's put this coin on real quick. And can I throw it on this poor unfortunate soul? There you go, that's a zombo. Hey, sir. Uh... How many undead are here? There's still eight. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Bye. Have a good time. Yes, I know. Let me equip my damn hammer before I forget again. Okay, so Vite Velo... I wonder... Is this scroll a one-time use like it was in the Cursed One? Where it made it very difficult to time your healings? <laughs> uh, this poor man. There's a man in his late 20s stuffed dead inside this closet. You assumed a creature that fell out did this. So either you tried to hide in here and failed miserably. Because the zombie was in there. Okay, something happened, but you're dead. That's fine. We'll, we'll consider that. Uh, I get the oddest feeling that something story related will happen here. So give me a hot moment, please. Okay, maybe not a hot mo- You know what? Yeah, hot moment. I'm not showing this battle. Okay, so I offloaded a bunch of stuff, did a little bit of redecorating in my inventory, and uh, hopefully I don't need some of those items in this house at the moment, but if I do, I can just go back to the truck and get it, so it's not it's not an issue. It really, really isn't. I also saved, so thank god, as I said I was. Let's go into this room before something tries to kill me. Oh, hello! Um... You know what, miss? I'll talk to you in a moment. First, let me explore this place. A poster of a rock band, The Sports, decorates the bedroom wall. You never like them. I see myself in the mirror. You look like you haven't slept in a long time. After today, you probably won't get much sleep either. I, I know that. Thank you, thank you. Well, he looks nice, though. He looks a bit edgy. And he's a redhead. A redhead? edgy boy. <laughs> really looks a bit with that, like, jack- what? Leather jacket? Well, maybe not leather, but definitely a, a nice jacket. I actually like that jacket. Looks nice. Uh, we got this, quite clearly. A music box. This is a music box with a little ballerina inside. Right-click to wind it. As you wind up the music box, a tiny melody can be heard within. That's nice, that's cute. What am I gonna do with a cute object? So, a warm breeze fills the room with much needed for Ah, one of those. Photos look like old pics of Jennifer's family and friends. Carpet looks to be heavily stained with old blood. Oh, well that's good to know. Someone was sacrificed in here and she's just resting in here tied up to the bed. A young girl is tied to the headboard, struggling to free herself. She looks terrified. 
Yeah, sure, we already saved. What can go wrong? She'll strangle me? <laughs> you slowly work to undo her restraints, and then she sits weakly on the edge of the bed. A warm br Yes, I know. J just talk to the lady, please. Okay, Jesus. So, it's weird. You misclick and then, like, donk. Anyway, miss? Please, don't hurt me. I didn't do anything. <clears throat> wow. I've been talking for over an hour. My voice is slightly dead. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I I'm, not, I'm not gonna hurt you. Who are you? My name is Sarah Carrington. I live down the street from here. I promise if you let me go, I won't tell anybody. Look, I, I already said I'm not gonna hurt you. Alright. I just thought you were a member of that scary cult. They're the ones that left me tied up in here. Wh what the hell happened? I don't know. Everyone's either dead or missing. My family, my, my friends. I'm one of the last people alive. They kidnap you and take you to their base for God knows what. I have a feeling it's worth the death. Are you serious? This isn't just some elaborate hoax or, or trap, is it? I have nothing to do with them, I swear. I only want to escape. Please, help me. I'll be back any minute. I just know it. What? Well, wait, what, what is this cult that you're talking about? I, I don't know what they're called, but the town emptied down to nothing once they took over. They captured me when I tried to run away. They can be back any second now. Do you know where they are? I don't know, but I heard one of them say that they'd be back. They have a big hideout at the northeast edge of town. I've never been there, and I don't want to be. Do you know where Jennifer is? She. This is her house. She lives here. Jen? You mean the girl whose parents owned the bar down the road? Yeah, I know her. I haven't seen her in a very long time. Anyway, this house has been abandoned. I can only guess she's dead by now. Everybody else is... You really think she's dead? All of the ruin you see around us started once Jen came back from the mine she was lost in, which completely vanished that day. It's almost like someone flipped a switch. The entire town went nuts then. The cultists always seemed like they were obsessed with her or something too. But why would they want her? I don't know. It's something like she had or, or knew something super important to them. Once she got involved with all that, she pretty much disappeared. No one's seen her since. That's really all I know about what's going on. Please don't hurt me, I don't- Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh god! It's too late! They're here! Oh hi! Suddenly, several rogue figures storm into the room and surround you on all sides. Uh, can I just- Never mind, I can't! Okay, I was gonna see if I can whack someone. <laughs> Oh, there was a third person. Okay. Someone from behind smashes in something from you. Something from behind. Okay, whatever. I totally butchered that sentence and I couldn't get it. Uh, I got nothing. Hello? Hello? Are you kidding me? Oh, I okay. I think I see what we have to do. This is a padlock, quite clearly. It looks like a tumbler lock. Hello? Okay, it was just a bad click and drag. Okay. This is a tumbler lock. How does this work? Really, how does this work? It's a tumbler lock. Whatever. Uh, let me go ahead and finish this real quick. Actually, can I? Yeah, let me do that real quick. I totally can. Uh. Oh, it's, it's one of those maze things. It's not too difficult. That was my fault. There we go. At least it shouldn't be too difficult. I say that now, and it's going to be very difficult. I promise you that. <laughs> uh, let me see. There we go. That, was, that wasn't too hard. <laughs> Never mind. That was totally wrong. God damn it, the centerpiece. Jesus. I was there... Until I wasn't. That was unfortunate. Okay, but... Jesus. This thing is a bit finicky. 
So there was just a cup with a needle conveniently hanging out. I accept it. Oh, uh, wait, wait, how, where am I going? Oh god, I need to plan this out a lot better. Okay, I think I see it. I see it now. It's always been inside of me. <laughs> Just like that. Uh, endless possibilities. Okay, there we go. I got it now. Okay. Well, this is a good way to end the episode, right? With a little... Oh, what? No, no, no. Back up. With a little puzzle. <laughs> I, I wonder if this game will have its own little puzzles every now and again. Oh, for the love of God. I just went back to where I was. Are you kidding me? Okay, this Okay, this is surprisingly more complicated than I, than I gave it credit for, honestly. Let me in. Thank you. Now I'm done. Jesus. Yeah, a lot more complicated than I gave it credit for. Holy smokers. There we go. Yay, we can pick the lock. Let me out. We leveled up. Large iron bars are here to keep someone or something prisoner. Yeah, me. The room is pretty bare besides a big table in the center. Just an empty cup and bag on top. Yes, I know. I know. Well, I have scissors. Okay. Oh, and we leveled up. Yes. Uh, the defense up did help, but I think I'm done with that. Let me go ahead and get some strength. Because that those hammer hits are taking a little while for me. Okay, so we clearly got kidnapped. There was a table quite close to the cell with a convenient- Oh my god, really? Oh, fine. I can't even end the episode in peace because you want a piece of the ending. So, fine. Since you want to be part of the ending, go ahead and join me in saying goodbye to everyone. Thank you for watching. And ow, are you serious? Uh, and we'll just... Is this a... What is... That's what I thought it was. I, I had a feeling because it wouldn't make sense that they just kidnap you and there's no save. I figured that was a save. So we're just gonna sit here and end the episode. Thank you for watching. We got kidnapped. I don't know what the hell's gonna happen. Oh, we're gonna get screwed over. <laughs> Later, everyone.